main factor that could wipe out the entire humanity would probably say that this might be the war with some kind of new nuclear weapons or this might be the, some kind of global family. But in fact the war takes only millions of lives per throughout the whole history and the famine takes about the thousands of lives in, in every year. It's, it's quite terrible but still it's, it's not the worst scenario. And the main and the crucial factor which could wipe out our entire humanity is, is the infectious diseases. Uh, why? Because they are infectious. You can catch them everywhere. For example, you can catch some, some kind of infectious disease while you are sitting here. And yeah, it's, it, it's quite a real possibility, so, so you just, just wash your hands after leaving this lecture theater. And at this moment, uh, the world is at the start of new pandemic. And the pandemic is called, uh, and the pandemic is caused by the antibiotic resistant microbes. At this moment, they are spreading, and uh, we are standing near the edge when the traditional medicine stopped working. And just try to imagine the times when even the small, uh, small uh, cat bite or just the small scratch became fatal. And you think that this is our past, the, uh, the times when we were uh, not having some kind of antibiotics, and I would say that this is our future. This is the future in which we are going to live and in which our uh, children or grandchildren are going to live. And from the early steps of humanity, the people were always trying to, to find some, some miracle bullet or some, some cure uh, against infectious diseases. And thanks to China, we no longer have the smallpox, one of the worst infectious diseases that uh, was ever discovered by scientists. And the Louis Pasteur saved the world from rabies, uh, the one of the most uh, fatal infectious diseases. And these two guys, the Paul Ehrlich and Alexander Fleming, they were the first persons that took uh, pure synthetical chemistry and the chemistry that the nature are giving to us uh, to fight infectious diseases and thanks to all of them uh, we have a powerful gun which was uh, useful for decades and as I said the situation is getting worse and worse uh, we no longer have uh, some active antibiotics and uh, when I was just uh, 15 years old I had my first fight with infectious diseases uh, we were play me and my friend we were playing outside and I had a small injury on my arm. And after a few days I felt really bad. I had a high temperature and uh, I can barely remember things that happened. I just w woke up in the hospital ICU and I asked the doctor what happened and he said that I had a septic shock. Uh, severe and mostly fatal infectious disease complication. And for example, when there's a microbes that are in the particular place of our body, for example, an arm, they are migrating to our, uh, to our bloodstream, uh, the microbes are causing the severe immune response, which are, which are called the septic shock. And once the septic shock appears, very little doctors can do. Uh, there is no miracle drug, there is no specific treatment way, there is absolutely nothing. So the people are mostly dying. And after this small war, I just realized how fascinating microbes they are. And I'm a microbiologist, I'm working with infectious diseases. And I just, and one of the fields that I'm working on is the septical shock research. So we were just, my, me and my colleagues, we were just sitting and we we're just talking how to catch those microbes that are circulating in the patient's bloodstream. And one day I was just drinking coffee in the morning. And I realized that we don't need to catch the microbes, the, that strategy would never work. And the basic thing that we need to do is to trick the human's, human re immune response in that way that it stops killing itself organs. Because in the way of septic shock, uh, there, there is uh, our vital organs that are harmed. So for example, the lungs and, and the liver, they are stopped working. So after a long time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have something. Uh, which is which might be an uh, absolutely grand new gun in, in treating the septic shock. And at this moment, uh, well, I could say that yes, we can do miracles, we can cure the septic shock with this thing. And this is the absolutely brand new inhibitor of the septic shock, and after single injection of this material, the septic shock stops, and the patient would survive. So the basic thing that we've done, we just, we invent something, that could save the millions of lives. Thank you.